Hello and welcome. Maybe you haven't heard of John Smith's Satch. I hadn't either until I was watching a reenactment of the Battle of Midway. I saw how the Japanese, superior in numbers of pilots and experience, suffered the loss of four aircraft carriers whilst the Americans lost the fleet carrier Yorktown. The advantages the Americans had were that Admiral Nimitz had intelligence beforehand of the Midway strike. The American ships had radar so they could plot approaching aircraft. Also, good fortune or events favourable to them happened, and the use of a new air tactic by the Americans. This air tactic was the Thatch Weave. Who was Thatch? John S. Thatch was born in Pine Bluff, Arkansas, on April 19, 1905. He graduated from the United States Naval Academy in 1927 and spent two years serving in battleships before becoming a naval aviator in early 1930. That spent the next decade serving as a test pilot and instructor and establishing a reputation as an expert in aerial gunnery. In early 1940, Thatch was placed in command of Fighter Squadron 3. There he met a young ensign just out of flight school named Edward O'Hare, later a Medal of Honor recipient. Thatch made O'Hare his wingman. We have had a presentation on the remarkable Butch O'Hare. I encourage you to watch it. The Americans had a problem. The Mitsubishi A6M0 was highly manoeuvrable and fast. It was the primary Imperial Japanese Navy fighter aircraft. How could the Allies succeed in combat when their Grumman F4F Wildcats top speed of 512 kilometers per hour was 20 kilometers per hour slower than the Zero and the Wildcats were less nimble? The Zero could stay airborne longer than the Wildcat also. Thatch reasoned that he had to devise a tactic to negate the Zero's speed advantage. Typically, the Zero would come up behind a Wildcat and shoot it down. Thatcher's plan was to fly his formations as two at a distance apart of a turn radius. If a Zero came up behind a Wildcat, the Wildcat was to turn towards its companions as they turned towards him. Thus the Zero went from behind to front on towards approaching Wildcats. The Zero's speed and manoeuvrability was counted. Here is historical film of John Thatch talking about his Thatch weave. The rule was to fly always in formations of two or four fighters. And the basic tactic conceived by Lieutenant John Thatch became known as the Thatch weave. You can't shoot anything if you can't bring your guns around the barrel. I would ask myself, now what should we do if we're flying along a formation? Let's say we've got four planes, two sections, and we saw an enemy. Well, if, you're, if you think the enemy can outperform you, you don't turn and run, because he can catch you, and you'll be easy target. You turn towards him, try to keep turning toward him so he can't get on your tail. I wasn't sure how well this would work, so I went out one morning and I got a hold of a young man named Butch O'Hare and gave him four airplanes and I took four. It really worked. Lieutenant Commander Thatch and his VF-3 flew from USS Lexington in the early part of World War II and was assigned to USS Yorktown during the Battle of Midway in June 42 where he was to use his tactic. On the morning of June 4, Thatch led a six-plane sortie from VF-3, escorting 12 Douglas TBD Devastators from Yorktown, when they discovered the main Japanese carrier fleet. They were immediately attacked by 15 to 20 Japanese fighters. Thatch decided to use his namesake maneuver, marking its first combat usage. Although outnumbered and outmaneuvered, Thatch managed to shoot down three Zeros and a wingman accounted for another at the cost of one Grumman Wildcat. 
After midway, Thatch was assigned to instruct other pilots in combat tactics. The United States Navy pulled its best combat pilots out of action to train newer pilots, whilst the Japanese kept their best pilots in combat. As the war progressed, the Japanese Navy lost their experienced pilots due to attrition and had no well-trained replacements, whilst the United States was able to improve the general fighting ability of their own personnel. When the Japanese resorted to the feared kamikaze suicide attacks, Thatch developed the Big Blue Blanket System to provide an adequate defence. Thatch was a flying ace credited with shooting down six enemy aircraft during World War II. Thatch was present at the formal Japanese surrender aboard the battleship USS Missouri on 2nd of September 1945 in Tokyo Bay. He stayed in the Navy at war's end and commanded USS Sicily during the Korean War and then USS Franklin D. Roosevelt in 1953-54. He was promoted to Rear Admiral in 1955. In 1958 and 1959, Thatch was placed in command of an anti-submarine development unit, a primary focus during the Cold War. Thatch was promoted to Vice Admiral in 1960 and served as the Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Air in the Pentagon, where he presided over the development of the A-7 Corsair II, among other naval aviation programs. He retired as an Admiral in 1967, dying in 1981. Thank you for watching. Comments always welcome. Please like and subscribe to promote content.